Hey guys, hey, so today is the 13th. I am officially like, I think, 14 days post-op. So two weeks post-op. Um, as you may know, I've had a lot of issues with um, eating and drinking and being nauseous and just not feeling good in general since my surgery. Um, let me try to set up. I'll let you guys see my incisions. Hold on. So, I'm trying to, this one happens to be the worst still. This is where my port has been placed. So if you can see, um, and then this one, you can see that one, um, this one's still a little bruised, and then those two. So they could have been worse, and they're not, um, I haven't taken my medicine yet so I'm still lucid uh, I wanted to make a video this morning and kind of just explain a few things before I took any medication and um, I'm still in between stage one and stage two as far as food goes um, today I tried a bowl of, um, of oatmeal and I could tell you it was the most delicious bowl of oatmeal I might have ever had in my life and that's sad Hospital food was no bueno. Um, oh man, uh, I've been I've been out of it for a while. I, had to, I took down my Facebook for a few for like a day. I think I think like a day or two. I'm not really sure um, because I just I wasn't able to rest and you know I I kept I mean I'm a Facebook addict so I pretty much just like scroll through Facebook all the time. And I'm always trying to see what other people are doing, and I just wasn't resting very much. And then there's my, one of my babies, and then the other one's over there. I think you guys can see there. She is. They're never too far away. Um, you probably saw the video of my dogs going crazy when I came home. My color is a lot better. Um, I'm still just, just having a rough time. I've got to keep myself hydrated, so I have um, a 20 ounce glass of water in front of me, and I also have some some decaf coffee. Uh, I've got uh, Finnegan to take for my nausea, which kind of makes me sleepy, and I'm still using this copolamine patch back there. Um, anybody getting surgery, uh, the scopolamine patch is a lifesaver for me. Uh, it really helps with my nausea because I don't like having to take the Finnegan or the um, Zofram if I don't have to. I prefer to try this method first and then if I'm still nauseous I'll take something else. Uh, there is nothing wrong with my band. I've been getting a lot of, you know, questions about, if, you know, is my band eroding through my stomach? And, you know, um, is it, you know, my body rejecting it? And no. That's, that's not the issue. The issue was is that when you put a foreign body inside, you know, inside your body, your body has to, is trying to fight it, you know, because anytime we get a new germ or something like that or a cut or whatever, your white blood cells start to attack. And, you know, because you, that's, that's our immune system. That's, that's the whole reason we have one. So even though this is, you know, hyperallergenic and surgical grade, you know, silicon and whatever, your body's still like, well, what the hell is that? Why is it in you? Let's get it out of here. So, you know, it's trying to fight against it. So that meant, that means that my body was trying to, um, I had to get used to it. And my stomach was very, very swollen around the band because it's not used to having anything there. So having said that, it wasn't, there wasn't enough room um, for food or drink or anything to go down properly. Excuse me. And until the inflammation, um, until, sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. Until the inflammation died down, I was having a hard time drinking and it actually going down and eating. Um, you know, even though I was on clear broth and liquids, I, it, it was just very hard for me to get enough down to be hydrated. Plus, I was really nauseated, and I just, I didn't feel good, and I was all alone, and, um, you know, I, I waited till Friday to try to get some help, because I was like, if I can just, if I can just get through the next couple of days, you know, the inflammation will go down, I'll be able to drink, I'll be able to eat, everything will be fine, um, 
and then Friday came around, I'd made an appointment and, um, that doctor took one look at me and he was like, I'm calling your surgeon. And, um, the issue I was having is that I had called my surgeon's office two days beforehand, like that Thursday. And, um, I said, this is what I'm having. This is what I'm feeling. I'm not feeling really good. I'm regurgitating a lot of what I'm trying to put in my, my pouch. And she told me that this was completely normal for people um, who are going through, uh, you know, lap band or, you know, any kind of bariatric surgery that, you know, you, this is normal. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll just give it another day or so. My pain was outrageous. I wasn't feeling good. And then I called my PCM, which is my primary care physician. And I said, I, I think I need to come in and be seen. I'm not feeling good. Um, you know, so they made the, the earliest appointment they could get me in was the next day. And so, uh, Matthew had to go to work. And so I was there by myself. I walked into the hospital. I felt really woozy. Um, you know, I had no color. My, I was shaking. Um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling right. And my primary care physician came in he took one look at me and he said, we're calling your surgeon. And my surgeon was in surgery still. So he was like, we're going to wheel you upstairs. They wouldn't let me walk. Like, they got a wheelchair and they wheeled me upstairs to my surgeon's clinic and um, put me in a room. And they were like, okay, so he's going to be out in like 30, you know, another hour. Let's get you started on an IV. So his associate, Dr. Kendall, came in and was talking to me. And they were like, yeah, you don't look good. Um, you you look really bad. You're slurring your words. You know you this is this isn't good for you. So um, I was again having a hard time getting stuck because you know as I've talked to you guys before, I when I'm dehydrated my veins are tiny, so I still have these. So of course any any every time somebody would come into the room, I'm like, how experienced are you in putting in? you know, IVs with somebody who has, who's completely dehydrated. And they're like, oh, well, let me go see. So they actually called somebody from the ER, like one of the trauma doctors from the ER to come upstairs and put in an IV. And they put in, um, that one. <clears throat> and I was thinking that I'd be able to go home. Mm -mm. They admitted me. Um, my doctor admitted me and was like, uh, you need to stay here at least throughout the weekend until we get you caught up because, um, my heart rate was so low. My blood pressure was so low. Like my blood pressure, my, my blood, I'm sorry guys. My blood pressure was like a hundred over like 56, um, over 60. Like the highest my blood pressure got in the hospital was like when I was having a lot of pain and it went up to like uh, 36 over, I think it was like 70 something. My blood pressure was very low. My heart was very low. Um, you know, I, I could have very well, um, you know, something worse could have happened. I also was not peeing very much um, at first. And when I did TMI for the guys who watched this, it was like, like, like imagine this, but like this vibrancy, but had orange to it. It was crazy. It was like, it was like a mixture of this color and like this color. So it was, it was not good. And it wasn't much to begin with. So they were really, really worried about me. They were talking about putting in a central line or a pick line. They were talking about putting a second IV in me to try to get me, you know, more hydrated. And they turned the... Excuse me. They turned the um, let me see how much time. Uh, they turned the pa the pump all the way up, so it was pushing as fast as it possibly could. I went through like three liters of fluid in like no time at all. And then for the rest of the weekend, um, you know, they kept it at like two hundred. And then you know, um, I was on Dilaudid most of the weekend. That vein blew front finally, and they had to put it in the other one. And that was an IC nurse. I see you nurse that came down to put that one in and he wanted to send me home with a pick line but I said give me a chance to to really be diligent and try to drink as much as possible and if for some reason I still can't um, 
you know, get in enough fluid, I'll come back next week. And so far, I think I'm doing pretty well. Um, you know, um, yesterday I got 100 ounces of liquid in. Today, I've just started because I just woke up. Um, I'm starting my, my, my fluids this morning. Uh, so that's pretty much, you know, just kind of a little excerpt of what happened to me. Um, I'm on uh, uh, Roxycodone, uh, 15 milligrams, and then I have some, um, um, my Finagrin and stuff. So, you know, if I need it, I also have some, um, my scopolamine patches, and I have Tramadol, and I, you know, I just have a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm trying really hard to wean myself off of medication because I don't want, I don't want to be hooked on it, uh, you know, so... That is pretty much what's been going on with me. I came home the other day. Um, my babies were really happy to see me. My husband's really happy to have me at home. I did take off my Facebook for a day just to give me some time to relax. I did turn it back on today. I don't know if I'll keep it on, but I, I'm going to try to keep it on. I hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, you know, I don't want anybody to think that this was my band's fault. You know, this can happen to anybody. This is the same thing that happened to me in my first surgery. Um, you know, I had inflammation. I had a stricture. It wasn't going down. So, you know, the, this is not something like, you know, pitchfork and, you know, torches. You know, the band is awful. You know, uh, it's just something that my body needs to get used to. And that's about it. So, you guys, I love your faces. I've kept you long enough. I will make more videos. Um, I'm going to try to talk to some of you on Facebook today. If I don't get to you today, I will definitely talk to you later. I love you. Bye.